I'm Xavi Uribe Echevarria, the founder and CEO of Sherpa. So when we think about a personal assistant, we always dream about, at least me, dream, uh, dream about this. This is, the, this is a, the knowledge navigator. This is a video that Apple did mm, almost 30 years ago, where a professor uh, was going to his home and was speaking with a, a machine. And we are really, really, really far from that. So the truth, the truth is that what we, what we got or what we get right now is a system. There are systems that we only use for several tricks that we learn. So those are not truly personal assistants. We, learn to, uh, we use them to set up the alarm to in the case of Alexa, to switch on, switch off the lights, and certain tricks that we learn to do. And it shouldn't be like that. So, like three years ago, in our company, we, we did a reflection, and we thought about how the perfect personal assistant should be. So the first idea came, so came out, this is my personal assistant. It's a person, it's a human, that helps me in my daily life. And I don't use him to set up the alarm or to switch on, switch off the lights or to set a reminder or, or that kind of like, easy things. What I want from him is to learn about me, to learn what I like, to learn what I don't like, and to have everything re ready even before I ask. So I want him to be proactive. I want to go to the office and have everything ready. If I am out of the office, I want him to help me finding the best restaurants, the best events, the best things to do, uh, to help me checking the traffic if I'm late or something like that. So, so that's, that's, that's what, uh, what it should, it, uh, it, a perfect personal assistant should do. So to have everything ready even before I ask. Uh, so that's what we, what we do at Serpa. We have been for three years working on a, on a technology that, uh, that will be the next generation of personal assistants. It's a predictive personal assistant that anticipates your needs. First, it learns about you, and then it anticipates your needs proactively. At the end, to, to make your life easier, because it helps you doing things that you will do in your daily life, uh, and like, uh, checking the traffic and things like that, but also helping, uh, it helps you uh, to do more exciting because it helps you finding restaurants, events, and so on. And why not happier? We are also working with emotions. But how does it work? So first it learns, we, we call profiling. Then it starts working for you and then it, it does the predictive thing. This is the, the, the way it works. So we, we have many inputs, location, uh, things that we do with the browser, emails, and so on. So it takes, before it, it took like three weeks to learn about you, now we know a lot about you in just one day. So this is our algorithms, how it works. I'm not going to explain right now, but this is what we call profiling. So we get, in one day, we can get something like that. That person is electronic buyer, business traveler, uh, likes McDonald's, likes whatever. So. In this case, that person likes that football team, what are the commutes that is doing daily, and so on. After that, what we do is filtering all the information that is on the internet and showing in a, in a, in a different way by voice. By voice. But this is, just, this is not just a personal assistant, it's a platform that can be used be, uh, using an API in many devices. So it could be used in, at home, with a mobile, with a car, and also with a smart speaker. So in the last few, few uh, so we, we have been in a stealth mode for the, for the last three years, and this year we have been more public. We will launch our first product in Q2 2018, but we, we have reached several agreements. One is with Samsung, to preloads in the Samsung devices. We, we did series A last year, and, and the achievement this year is that two weeks ago we reached an agreement with a big car manufacturer to, to be the next generation of, of to, to the next generation of cars, and, and we are also closing another big round. We won many awards, and 
and those are the products. We have an app, and for enterprise, we work for cars and for smart speaker manufacturers. So that's, that's, that's overall what we do. This is me. <laughs> So okay. how do you sell? What's the, what's the model? So that's a good question. So we have an app, which is free, a free app. But this is, on, this is going to be launched in Q2, 2018. This is the, the way to show what we are able to do. But we have um, our business model, let's say business model or revenue model, is B2B. So we have built a platform that is, can be accessed via API that we charge per query to the API. So it's the same way Alexa, IBM Watson, Cortana is doing, it's the same way, same way. Similar pricing, a little bit higher is our pricing because it's a little bit more advanced, our technology, but overall is that. That's the agreement that we uh, reached with that car manufacturer two, two weeks ago, so, so it's the same way. We work that way. That's. So I think you mentioned that you're launching with Samsung and with the major car manufacturer. So I'm just trying to understand the data here. Does the data then reside separately with Samsung and with the car manufacturer, or does the data follow the individual around, de uh, depending on which device they're using, but it, it lands back with the consumer? But the data is on the cloud. All the data is on no, the cloud. Uh, I understand that, but does Samsung, would Samsung have the data that actually happens within the car manufacturer or vice versa? Is it just located in one spot, would they be sure? Yeah, that? it's one spot. So we have, we think that the personal assistant should be just one. The way to show it, if, even if it's in a car, if it's in a smart speaker or whatever, uh, it doesn't matter. It should be, so, it's, it's the way to show. Uh, sometimes it will be a screen, sometimes it will be also a, a kind of airport, and sometimes it will be a speaker. But it's independent from the from the from the device, so it's always on the, it's the same personal assistant. If it learns from you, it should be yeah. Are you pulling data from uh, so you, given a partner like uh, like your car? It's not Toyota, but you want you want your yeah. car uh, partners. Uh, do you pull data? Then it seemed like it would be better to pull data not just from the car, but from the browser, the mobile phone. Uh, any other vector that you can get data from. So is, is this uh, across your life? Or do you connect Sherpa everywhere you can? But how you can do that if you're a B2B? Good, good question. So, so in, the, in the phone, we, do, we take data from the browser, from the many, many, many places. If we are B2B, in the case of that car manufacturer, we also have a, an agreement too, so they will let let us use the car data as well. Let's say that you are reaching your tire limit or, bra or the brakes are, so it will help to learn and it will tell you, let's say, okay, you should change your, your, your tires or, or your, uh, your brakes and so on. So, so if we have more data, we can help more, but if not, so yeah. But in this case, they will let let us use that. Or when is your next uh, revision of the, of the car and so on. 